So guys, my name is Joy Mutanda. I come from Kakamega in Butere sub-county. So I am doing Master's in Business Analytics here at University of Louisville. So I've been here for, this is my fourth month in the US. And um, I came through the Kenya Airlift program. I came to know about Kenya Airlift through a friend who came through this program. He's in, in Illinois. He was a friend to my husband, then he told us about it. So we joined the program. So before that, I had been trying to get out of Kenya, but the main challenge was finances. I wanted to go to Canada or the United Kingdom, but finances was a big challenge. So when that friend presented this opportunity to us, we saw it was a good, a good investment, if I may say, because you only invest a thousand dollars and then all the expenses are catered for. And like the other options that we were considering that like required us to have millions of Kenya shillings that we didn't have at that point. So when I joined the early program, I had just graduated from my undergrad at the University of Eldoret in Wasingishu, Kenya. I had done a bachelor's of science in applied statistics and I was working as an intern at the Kenya Revenue Authority. So I joined the program immediately after graduation and after like one and a half years of being in the program, I made it to the United States. So eventually I came here to the University of Louisville. I'm doing a one year program, it's very intense. I started in January and I'll be graduating in December. So I ha I'm almost halfway through the course. And the experience here has been so good and then when we came, it was in midwinter. It was so cold, although Kentucky wasn't snowing that time, but it was very cold. And the coldest I've ever been to all my life is Limuru in Kenya when I was in high school. So this was too much cold for me, but we had to adapt. But I like the fact that here systems work, the infrastructure is good, the quality of life is good, the people are welcoming. Yeah, that's what I can say for now. And I love the school. It's very, very beautiful. It's very green, as you can see behind me. We have very nice buildings, very nice architecture. The people here are good. The students are good. And so far, I like my experience here in the United States. You are watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, presented to you by Upstack America. Upstack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstackamerica.com. Upstack America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. In our class, we are a class of about 60, 59 or 60 there about. Out of those 60, like 48 are Indian students. They are on student visa like me. And then we have two Kenyans, I and Marco Mondi. He's also part of the Kenya Airlift program. We have like four Nigerians. And then the remaining seven or eight are Americans. So we, in our class, we work in, they call it a team-based structure. We have been divided into groups, into teams. You see, like they, they want us to do this like, a, like an, a real job setting because when you're working as a data analyst, a business analyst, you work as a team. So we, we start doing it here. So we have been grouped into teams. In my team, we have uh, three Indians, one American and me, <laughs> one Kenyan. Yeah, it's a very good experience. Everyone in class is very cooperative. People are very smart here. Everyone gets A's in class. <laughs> Something we never get to see in Kenya. So it motivates you even you personally. You, you get out of your comfort zone. You work hard because everyone in class is working hard. And the, the courses, some of the courses we take, most of our work is programming and analytics. So we use Python and R software a lot. We do the real programming, we analyze data sets, and we do a, a bit of management courses because our course is a, it's a management course at the same time an analytics course. So we do some management courses, a bit of them which I don't like at all. Yeah, but we take management classes as well once in a while. We have like three classes in a week. 
on, on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Our classes are in the evening because during the day most of us work. Our course has um, an internship program that we get credit for. It's a course on its own. In Kenya we call it units. The internship is a unit on its own, so we get credit for it. So the fact that now most of us are working the internship or the Americans have full-time jobs, so we are allowed to work during the day and then attend class in the evening from 6 p.m., three days a week. It might sound like it's so easy, but the, the coursework is a lot. The load is a lot. You'll go to class three days a week, but you, you will have your books seven days a week. You have to do a lot of assignment, group works to be done, but it keeps you on toes and you get into the real world in the U.S. Here, everything is on toes. We, we, people here are not as lazy and just doing it for the sake, like in Kenya. So we go to class three days a week, but we have to to be in our books like seven days a week. Yeah. I have a husband and one son. They are coming next week to the U.S. They got their visa three weeks ago at the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi. So. When I joined the Kenya Airlift program, I, had already, I was already married and we were looking for a program that we can go as a family, not one person going and leaving the rest behind. So, the US, when you come on a study visa or any kind of visa, you have that room to bring dependents with you, be it a work visa or a study visa. So for the study visa, it's called the F1 visa. So if you bring dependents, they'll be given F2 visa. I think you have seen, if you have been watching airlift videos and following them on Telegram, there are those students who came with their families when they were coming. But for me, I didn't bring my family at that time because we didn't have the finances to do that. So later on, four months later, not four months later, when I got to the US, like one month later, I, I was so lonely here and the life here is tough, as I have told you. So I decided I needed my husband here and my, I was missing my son also. So we decided to start the F2 visa processing. It is not something tedious. All you need to do is go to the international student office. You get them that document called the I-20. With that, they fill the visa documents online and then they get a visa date at the embassy. Then they go for the interview. They went for the interview and then they are given their visa. So next week, they will be coming to the United States something which I'm very grateful for because finally the whole family gets to be here and we stay as family. We had really prepared a lot. We had like two months of preparing for the interview. We thought it would be as rigorous as, as mine was, the F1 was, but it was the easiest. He, they, my husband was just asked two questions and then that was it. The visa officer told them I will approve your visa. It was a very pleasant experience, a very easy one. The interview lasted like 10 seconds and they got their visas. You have been watching Success with Bomwiti Show, brought to you by Upstack America. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mwiti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.